Welcome everyone to Skyrim's Mod of the Day episode 48. I was going to look at three mods today to start with, two of which are suggestions from our loyal YouTube commenters and the viewers, but one of them didn't work because I downloaded the latest beta version and I had problems, so that may be in a future episode. Anyway, the said mod that I was going to do was the Dwemer Skyship, which was fully flyable. Anyway, let's crack on with the rest of the mods I was going to showcase today. Another suggestion from a YouTube user is a Sedufil Sword, and believe I pronounced that correctly. I might not, but anyway, you can read it yourself and you can see the sword. Now, it comes in two versions. There is a silver and black, and gold and brown. You can see there is a one-hand and two-handed version of each and the stats are taken from the Daedric Swords. The standard two-handed version has a reduced reach to compensate for its size, but the attack speed is faster than the standard Great Swords, and the larger version has standard speed with a longer reach, but it's much heavier. Now let's have a closer look at the Swords models, and just to point out, both models are the same, just different sizes and they are very well detailed and they should be as the meshes are to scale replicas and use high resolution textures taken from the images of the actual swords and I believe the swords were designed or made by Kit Reyes um, I got no idea who he is but I did a quick google and it seems like he makes loads of swords like this and the real one looks just like this so it's awesome anyway you'll notice it's silver all throughout besides the black hilt and I think it looks just great and then we have the gold and brown version and this is kind of a struggle for me because I love them both but I think this is my favourite I mean we've got the gold trim around the hilt we've got the steel blade and we've got the brown handle I think it looks also just amazing they're both great, you can't really go wrong anyway let's have a little look at the swords in first person mode and like I said really high resolution really well detailed and also the blood textures also look really good on the swords as well let me try the gold version of the one-handed oh that looks much better yeah i think i prefer the gold and like i said it looks good and damage of course is daedric numbers as i said before just adjusted slightly and then we have the two-handed versions Not much bigger, I wouldn't really call it too much of a great sword, but it does much more damage. And now the gold version of the two handed weapon. Die fiends! I'm scared! On your knees! <laughs> and finally these can be crafted under the steel section of any forge and they only require two leather strips, a steel ingot and a silver or gold ingot to go with them. And finally today I have the Hammer of the Gods mod which is basically Thor's Hammer. Now in mythology I believe this is pronounced Mjolnir, the Mjolnir Hammer. And this mod basically adds a new quest adapted from Stan Lee's Thor and the real world Norse mythology surrounded the Mjolnir and to fit neatly into the world of Skyrim and the Elder Scrolls. Of course I added the hammer via the console, um, but this just looks amazing and it's from the same guy who made the Captain America shield and the Dark Knight armor. And the text says, whosoever holds this hammer, if he be worthy, shall possess the power of four. Now let's try this thing out. Now it looks good, it looks very good. Pretty much the same as what Thor has. I think the hilt could do with some more detail, but as for now, it looks just amazing. Let's mother. try it out. Ooh, it's got a lightning effect. I like that. And it's not too overpowered either, and that's always a bonus. But you know what I've done? I've got two of them because I've used the console, so I've illegally gained access to two hammers. I know your family's honor is. I missed. I've shamed my family. Oh, now they're overpowered. Anyway, I think these look amazing and they are definitely worth a download. And that will do it for today's episode, guys. So please check the box below for download links. Please like, comment, subscribe. Join our Steam group and check back every day for more Skyrim mod of the day.